This is the Elgato Camlink. It is a pretty tiny HDMI capture card. It is a USB 3 device and it's actually pretty simple and fairly similar to a lot of their other HDMI capture solutions with the main drawback of not having any pass through. This means if you're planning on capturing your console games then this probably isn't going to work too well unless you want to watch it on your monitor of the PC you're recording it from but either way this is more for the sort of people who want to be able to capture their DSLR cameras like myself and have either better streaming quality, uh, overall just easier production, uh, you know, usage and all that sort of stuff. So let's take a look at so it. So first things first, inside the box you get the Camlink, a USB extension cable and that's pretty much it. The Camlink itself has a USB 3 port on one side, a pretty cool Camlink logo on the actual sort of larger face and an HDMI port on the other side and a few uh, you know kind of uh, regulatory marks on the back but otherwise that's pretty much it. It's not much larger than a standard USB stick so I wouldn't be too concerned about traveling with this if you need to and otherwise the USB extension cable is actually a pretty thick pretty beefy extension cable so I wouldn't worry too much about any data losses going through this. As I mentioned, unlike a lot of their other HDMI capture solutions, this one only has one HDMI port, which means you're not going to be able to pass through the signal that is coming into this out to a monitor. This means if you are directly trying to capture your display, for example, with console gaming, where you can't set up a second monitor, or you can't set up a duplication of uh, displays, or if you're even gaming with a PC, but you're gaming 4040p or 4K, then uh, that's this one isn't going to be necessarily for you. The highest resolution that the Camlink supports is 1080p at 60 frames per second which is fairly standard for most cameras and stuff like that although it would be kind of nice to see some 4k support on this as they do have a couple of 4k capture cards available as well but with that said let's take a look at the usage experience with both the Elgato gaming software and with uh, just the overall experience of using it so once you get the cam link out of its box and uh, set up the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're connecting it to the rear IO of your uh, system as opposed to the front panel IO I have quite a lot of trouble with the front panel IO so uh, I really do recommend rear IO is it's just going to be a little bit easier and hopefully uh, a lot less issues for you but otherwise uh, when plugged into a USB 3 or USB 3.1 Gen 2 port uh, it works perfectly fine as you can see and here as I'm currently using OBS to record this uh, you can use OBS or you can use Elgato's game capture HD software which I'll show you in just a second but it is a pretty simple and easy procedure you do need to install Elgato's game capture HD software first and make sure that you open that at first even if you do want to use OBS but uh, it does work as you can see as a standard item in the OBS library so that's pretty awesome to see. So using the Elgato Game Capture HD software is also pretty simple. You can use this just straight up if you want to directly record or if you want to uh, stream directly to Twitch or YouTube or anything like that. You do have some built in overlays that you can select. Uh, there's a whole list of them and a whole sort of setup available and you can customize it how you like. So if you don't want to use OBS or you want to go you know all out on Elgato's own software then you can do. I have had a few issues with it trying to actually get it to record. That can be a little bit tricky at times for some reason. Uh, but you can also uh, use the live commentary feature if you want to have it sort of uh, overlay uh, overlay audio on top of your game or whatever you're capturing. Um, but otherwise it is pretty simple to use, generally just auto detect. So yeah, it's nice. So I actually pretty enjoyed using this. This is really simple to do. The first thing I had to do was set up my camera so that the HDMI output was a sort of clean HDMI output that, and I didn't get the overlay on top. But once I did that it was a really simple and easy procedure the camera automatically feeds any audio sources uh, that are you know being input to it to the HDMI port so all of the audio was through a Rode video mic as opposed to through the camera's own microphones which was really nice and otherwise it was just a really simple and easy to use uh, you know bit of kit as I mentioned there was a bit of a pain with trying to get OBS to work and I, I had to effectively initialize the cam link with the Elgato uh, capture software first and then go into OBS and then it was all fine but uh, even you know going through that sort of rigmarole it's still perfectly easy to use and you can use it in a source for a scene or you can use it as a scene in itself with overlays on top and all that sort of stuff so it's really nice and very easy to use which is awesome the only thing the only kind of downside to this is I had a look at the pricing for this which is at the time of filming and of course this fluctuates when and where you watch this but in the UK at the time of filming uh, especially on Amazon it's currently listed for about 
£120. That is the exact same price as their HD 60S, I believe, which is effectively the same as this. It does 1080p 60, but has a USB Type-C port and has an HDMI output as well. Now, as far as I'm aware, the Camlink is a device that's meant to go down in price more often, I believe. I think it was recently at the £95 mark, but it's just something to, to be aware of that if you are someone who could even potentially use that, pa that pass-through feature of the HD 60S and you don't mind having a slightly bigger device with an, uh, you know, a USB cable that comes out as opposed to effectively a USB dongle, then the HD 60 might be a better option for you. So just put that one in mind, but obviously if you do want an incredibly small sort of dongle style HDMI capture device that, and you definitely will never need HDMI pass through, then this is still a really interesting bit of kit. Moving on to the scoring for me, this is going to be a 4 for 5 money. I would like to see a 4K option available at some point, so in terms of performance it did a really good job, but I'd like to see 4K available, so I'm going to go with a 4.5. In terms of functionality, because of the few hiccups and the fact that you really do have to have the Elgato software available, uh, I'm going to go with again a 4.5 and in terms of styling it's a, a pretty cool bit of kit so I'm going to go with a 4.5 as well. In terms of Type 2 Movie Score it's also going to be a 4.5 and a Gold Award. If you're interested in this bit of kit and especially if you don't need the HDMI pass through at any point then it's very interesting, it's incredibly small, easy to travel with and should work on basically any device that has a USB 3 port so that's pretty nice to see and as I said it's just pretty interesting if you do need an HDMI capture solution and you don't need any pass throughs. If you want to know any more about the cam like or check out the price when and where you watch this take a look at the link in the description down below this should be a sort of global amazon link for you so feel free to check that out and if you want to support me making these videos on a monday wednesday and friday basis and live streams on thursday then feel free to take a look at the patreon link in the description down below where you can get direct rewards for supporting me very directly or if you want to support me slightly less directly then feel free to use the amazon and overclock gk affiliate links when you're shopping on either of those sites they do genuinely help me out and massively help in paying the rent and that sort of stuff so if you could use those that'd be fantastic there is also some other videos over here for you if you want to check them out and of course if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button as well and otherwise that's pretty much it i'd love to hear what you think of the cam link down below are you someone who could benefit from this or are you someone who'd much rather have the hd 60s with a pass-through let me know in the comments down below otherwise that's pretty much it so thank you for watching and we'll see you all in the next video